Hey guys, good morning. I just got finished teaching my yin class. And um, I, I actually wanted to make a video about like how you can make your home space more fun to practice in. Because um, I think that's one of the things that really prevents people from practicing at home is like their home space isn't actually set up in a way that they have a place to practice. And so you might be getting like distracted. You know, you roll your yoga mat out, but you can't really focus on the yoga class, your attention's being pulled over here, pulled over there, maybe based on something, the state of the house. Cause like even our stuff, you know, actually has an energetic quality. And to go on further, like the way that our stuff is arranged in the space has an energetic quality and an energetic impact. So if we're using yoga and Ayurveda to bring ourselves into balance, but our space is imbalanced, that's like, it's interesting. We're learning how to balance on an unbalanced space, right? Like in theater, sometimes we would perform on a raked stage, which meant the stage was angled this way. And you have to learn how to find equilibrium on that. So the body's very good at finding equilibrium. The mind is always gonna search for equilibrium and it's gonna do so to try to match the environment it's in. So you may be in a state of equilibrium with your chaotic space. <laughs> that could be one thing that's happening. Other people, you know, it's just a matter of like, how do you wanna use it? And I, I'm not, you guys, I'm not an expert on like, space or um, what do you call feng shui or anything like that. But there's just a couple things that I've noticed that have been really helpful for me to get more into the spirit of an at-home practice. One of them is like placing little deities and like around and ritualizing the space. So I've got like baby Krishna there. I lit some Palo Santo this morning with a candle and put it there and like again, energetic impact, energetic effect. I like to have a lot of space around my yoga mat so that way, if I have to like reach my arms, you know, forward off the mat, I have space. If I need to reach out side to side, I'm not gonna hit a wall. You know, when I, I was in my New York City apartment, it was a lot harder to find a spot in the apartment where I could do that, or I could have my full reach space during a yoga class. But I gotta say, it's just one of the things that's made the practice feel a lot easier and more accessible and more exciting to do. Um, anything else? Like, good to have a clear wall space too in case a teacher ever asks you to go, you know, jump up or do a handstand or a headstand or put your legs up the wall. Again, I have this big wall. I've, I've specifically chosen not to put anything there for that reason. But um, for you, it might be a smaller portion of wall, but you know that's where you go when you're asked to go put your legs up the wall. It'd be great if too, you could like, you have room to spread your legs into a straddle. Um, props, 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 props. I'm currently sitting on a block. There's a blanket there. You can see there's a bolster there. There's a bunch of other props over there. Props and like even a good mat, like it helps to have a good mat when you're practicing yoga. If your hands are sliding everywhere and there's pieces of the mat that are like breaking off because it's been used so many times, all of that is gonna be just like stuff that your attention might want to linger and cling on to. If, you're in a pat if your attention is in a pattern of doing something like that, right? It's just gonna find more stuff. It's interesting, I saw a quote the other day that was like, the way we do one thing is the way we do everything. And so the way that you're doing your at-home practice is, is the way that you're doing a lot of other things in your life too. So if you can deepen the ritual, if you can make more space and just get more into the spirit of it, I think you're gonna start to take a lot away from uh, your, your practice at home. So that being said, like I wanna invite you to the two week trial of Journey to the Peak. Um, come in now. I'm going to drop a link below. Link is also in my Instagram bio. Basically, you come in, you'll get a series of emails from us um, over the course of five days. And those emails are just to help onboard you a little bit with like what we do in the community. So if you get in, like fill out the form, get access, definitely come to the Sunday morning special, definitely schedule on time to take a recorded practice with myself or Shauna. And um, definitely maybe try to make a live class or two. All of that stuff is in the class hub, the course hub, Kajabi, you'll figure it all out when you get the emails. But um, yeah, hope to see you in class soon.